Fisheries Professional Licensure Examination Reviewer Aquatic Resources Ecology Management Number 1. This distance is usually measured in one of the three ways, crest to next crest, trough to next through, or from the start of a wave cycle to the next starting point. A. Capillary Waves B. Wavelength C. Amplitude D. Gravity Waves The answer is letter B. Wavelength this refers to the length of a wave from one peak to the next. The amplitude or height of a wave is measured from the peak to the trough. Number 2. A measure of the number of different species presents in an area. A. Ecosystem diversity. B. Species diversity. C. Genetic diversity. D. None of the above. The answer is letter B. Species diversity. This refers to the variety of species within a particular region. Number 3. Deals with the study of groups of organisms which are associated together as a unit. A. Aquatic ecology. B. Biology. C. Ecology. D. Autocology. The answer is letter D. Autocology. Also called species ecology. The study of the interactions of an individual organism or a single species with the living and non-living factors of its environment. Number 4. The entire habitat, including all the abiotic features of the landscape which they interact. A. Ecosystem. B. Biosphere. C. Habitat. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Ecosystem. The regions of the surface, atmosphere, and hydrosphere of the Earth, or analogous parts of other planets, occupied by living organisms. Number 5. An entire habitat, including all the abiotic features of the landscape or seascape and all the living species within it. A. Community. B. Population. C. Ecosystem. D. Biosphere. The answer is letter C. Ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. Number 6. Encompass all inland bodies of flowing water and standing water and other human-made water impoundments. A. Freshwater Ecosystem B. Marine Ecosystem C. Brackish Water D. None of the above The answer is letter A. Freshwater Ecosystem Consist of entire drainage basins as water moves from land and in groundwater runoff to stream and river channels, and to recipient lakes or reservoirs. Number 7. The study of the structural and functional relationships and productivity of organisms in inland aquatic ecosystem as are regulated by the dynamics of their physical, chemical, and biological environments. A. Biology. B. Meteorology. C. Limnology. D. Ecology. The answer is letter C. Limnology. Is the integrative, multidisciplinary, scientific study of inland waters. Number 8. Refers to the variability among living organisms from all sources. A. Biodiversity. B. Ecosystem diversity. C. Genetic diversity. D. Species diversity. The answer is letter A. Biodiversity is a term used to describe the enormous variety of life on Earth. It can be used more specifically to refer to all of the species in one region or ecosystem. Number 9. The amount of living material produced per unit area per unit time, in units of body mass or in terms of the carbon content of the organisms. A. Primary productivity. B. Secondary productivity. C. Tertiary productivity. D. Product. D. Species diversity. The answer is letter D. Productivity. This refers to the physical relationship between the quantity produced, output, and the quantity of resources used in the course of production, input. Number 10. Refers to the decreased ability of water to transmit light caused by suspended particulate matter ranging in size, from colloidal to coarse dispersions. A. Turbidity. B. Visibility. C. Temperature. D. Salinity. The answer is letter A. Turbidity. 
is the measure of relative clarity of a liquid. It is an optical characteristic of water and is a measurement of the amount of light that is scattered by material in the water when a light is shined through the water sample. Number 11. The growth and activity of the fish depends on this body temperature. A. Salinity. B. Temperature. C. pH. D. Dissolve oxygen. The answer is letter B. Temperature. Measure of hotness or coldness expressed in terms of any of several arbitrary scales and indicating the direction in which heat energy will spontaneously flow from a hotter body, one at a higher temperature, to a colder body, one at a lower temperature. Number 12. One of the problems for fertilization management in freshwater ponds. A. Salinity. B. pH. C. Clay turbidity. D. Temperature. The answer is letter C, clay turbidity. Reduces the magnitude of daily fluctuations in dis solved oxygen concentration, so that it gets neither very high. Number 13. The acid combining capacity of water or buffering capacity. A. Alkalinity. B. Dissolve oxygen. C. Turbidity. D. pH. The answer is letter A. Alkalinity is a measure of the acid neutralizing capacity of water and is usually determined by titration against sulfuric acid to the endpoint of the acid-base reaction. Number 14. A measure of the depth to which one may see into the water. A. Secchi disc. B. Visibility. C. Turbidity. D. Temperature. The answer is letter B. Visibility is the measure of the distance at which an object or light can be clearly discerned. In meteorology, it depends on the transparency of the surrounding air and as such, it is unchanging no matter the ambient light level or time of day. Number 15. Serves as an index of plankton productivity of the water. A. Spectrophotometer. B. Thermometer. C. Secchi disc. D. None of the above. The answer is letter C, Secchi disc. Is an 8-inch, 20 centimeters, disc with alternating black and white quadrants. It is lowered into the water of a lake until it can no longer be seen by the observer. Number 16. A process driven by radiant energy brings water from the ocean to the atmosphere. A. Transpiration. B. Evaporation. C. Precipitation. D. Condensation. The answer is letter B, evaporation. Is a form of vaporization that usually happens on the surface of liquids and it involves the transition of the liquid particles into the gaseous phase. Number 17. A great diversity of fishes and invertebrates inhabit unpolluted rivers and streams, distributed according to and throughout the vertical zones. A. Heterotrophs. B. Swap. C. Reservoir. D. March. The answer is letter A. Heterotrophs. Refers to an organism that produces its own food. Furthermore, such an organism relies on gaining nutrition from other sources of organic carbon. Number 18. This lake is shaped like a stylized W, with two peninsulas jutting out from the northern shore. A. Laguna de Bay. B. Tall Lake. C. Paoe Lake. D. Lake Lano. The answer is letter A. Laguna de Bay. Is the largest lake in the Philippines and the third largest inland body of water in Southeast Asia, after Tol Sap of Cambodia and Lake Toba of Sumatra. Number 19. Layer where a sharp decrease in temperature occurs, thus forming a barrier which separates the warmer layer from the colder one. A. Epilimnion. B. Hypolimnion. C. Thermocline. D. Temperature. The answer is letter C. Thermocline. Is the transition layer between warmer mixed water at the ocean's surface and cooler deep water below. Number 20. Defined as a value of 1, and other substances are given value relative to water. A. Specific heat. B. Latent heat. C. Polarity. D. Cohesion. The answer is letter A, specific heat. 
is the amount of energy required to raise 1 gram of a pure substance by 1 degree centigrade. Number 21. This condition is important in the lives of aquatic organisms. A. Buoyancy. B. Viscosity. C. Surface tension. D. Cohesion. The answer is letter C. Surface tension. Is the tendency of liquid surfaces at rest to shrink into the minimum surface area possible? Number 22. The property of a material that measures the force necessary to separate the molecules allow an object to pass through the liquid. A. Density. B. Latent of heat. C. Surface tension. D. Viscosity. The answer is letter D. Viscosity. Is a principal parameter when any flow measurements of fluids, such as liquids, semi-solids, gases, and even solids are made. Number 23. The energy released or absorbed in transforming water from one state to another. A. Heat of fusion. B. Latent heat. C. Specific heat. D. None of the above. The answer is letter B. Latent heat. Is energy released or absorbed by a body or a thermodynamic system during a constant temperature process? Number 24. Found in the tropical and subtropical tidal areas. A. Rocky shore. B. Mangroves, swamps. C. Corals. D. Seagrass. The answer is letter B. Mangrove swamps. Are coastal wetlands found in tropical and subtropical regions? They are characterized by halophytic, salt-loving, trees, shrubs, and other plants growing in brackish to saline tidal waters. Number 25. Modified sections of the cable root system which first grow upward above soil, then downward back to the soil. A. Buttress roots. B. Aerial roots. C. Lenticels. D. Knee roots. The answer is letter D. Knee roots. Emerge as a root loop from the underground root system and allow the exchange of gases in oxygen-poor sediments. Number 26. Pencil-like structures or conical projections arising from the cable root system and extending into the air. A. Knee roots. B. Aerial roots. C. Prop roots. D. Pneumatophores. The answer is letter D. Pneumatophores. Are aerial roots derived from subterranean roots that enable plants to access air in waterlogged soil habitats? It is most commonly found in saline mudflats, mostly in mangroves, bald cypresses, and gyms. Number 27. Smaller than swamp, periodically or continually flooded wetlands characterized by non-woody emergent plant, plants that are adapted to living in shallow water or in moisture-saturated soils. A. Swamp. B. Marsh. C. Reservoir. D. Lake. The answer is letter B. Marsh. An area of low-lying land which is flooded in wet seasons or at high tide, and typically remains waterlogged at all times. Number 28. Seeds develops into a seedling and comes out of the fruit while still attached to the parent tree. A. Cryptoviviparity. B. Viviparity. C. Buoyancy. D. None of the above. The answer is letter B. Vivipari. Is the phenomenon that involves seeds germinating prematurely while they are still inside or attached to the parent plant or fruit. It occurs more often than you might think. Number 29. Bulging cells on branches and roots used for gas exchange. A. Lenticels. B. Buoyancy. C. Knee roots. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Lenticels. Are the pores of outer plant tissue that provide a direct exchange of gases between internal plant tissues and the atmosphere. Number 30. Its blades are cylindrical and can grow to 50 centimeters in some location. A. Sea grass. B. Turtle grass. C. Paddle grass. D. Manatee grass. The answer is letter D, manatee grass. Uses an extensive network of runners to expand and form grass beds. Manatee grass can grow between 3 to 40 feet deep and is often seen mixed in beds with other sea grass. 
Number 31. It commonly found in estuarine water where salinity is 10 to 25 parts per thousand, but it is also forms densely in high salinity areas exposed to waves and in tidal flats. A. Paddle grass. B. Turtle grass. C. Shoal grass. D. Sea grass. The answer is letter C. Shoal grass. Is known as a pioneer species, colonizing areas that are too shallow for other species to thrive in or on banks that have been damaged. Number 32. Moderate nutrients, productivity, and clarity. A. Mesotrophic. B. Oligotrophic. C. Eutrophic. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Mesotrophic. Describing a body of water, such as a lake, that is intermediate between a eutrophic lake and an oligotrophic lake in the amount of nutrients contained within in it. Number 33. Utilize a chemical energy source. A. Phototrophs. B. Heterotrophs. C. Chemotrophs. D. None of the above. The answer is letter C. Chemotrophs. Are a class of organisms that obtain their energy through the oxidation of inorganic molecules, such as iron and magnesium. Number 34. This is the period in which the tidal currents slow down and then reverse. A. Tidal currents. B. Slack water. C. Spring tides. D. None of the above. The answer is letter B. Slack water. Used to be known as the stand of the tide, is a short period in a body of tidal water either side of high water or low water essentially when the water is completely unstressed. And therefore, with no rise or fall of the tide and no movement either way in the tidal stream, occurs before the direction of the tidal stream reverses. Number 35. And blank is a partially enclosed, coastal water body where fresh water from rivers and stream are mixes with salt water from the ocean. A. Estuarine. B. Reservoir. C. Dam. D. Ocean. The answer is letter A. Estuarine. Are among the most productive on Earth, creating more organic matter each year than comparably sized areas of forest, grassland, or agricultural land. Number 36. Water in soil is absorbed by roots of plants and transported out of the plants from stomata. A. Precipitation. B. Condensation. C. Transpiration. D. Evaporation. The answer is letter C. Transpiration. Is the evaporation of water from plants. Most of the water absorbed by the roots of a plant as much as 99.5% is not used for growth or metabolism it is excess water and it leaves the plant through transpiration. Number 37. Describes the movement of water from the oceans into the atmosphere and across land. A. Biogeochemical cycle. B. Hydrologic cycle. C. Gaseous cycle. D. None of the above. The answer is letter B. Hydrologic cycle. Also known as the water cycle is a way of describing the material flow of water throughout the earth. Number 38. These more or less circular paths are known as A. Carbon cycle B. Nitrogen cycle C. Biogeochemical cycle D. None of the above. The answer is letter C. Biogeochemical cycle Is the pathway by which a chemical substance cycles is turned over or moves through the biotic and the abiotic compartments of Earth. Number 39. It's a constituent of protein, which is a building block of all living tissue. A. Oxygen. B. Sulfur. C. Phosphorus. D. Nitrogen. The answer is letter D. Nitrogen. Can be present in nitrates and nitrites in water and in soil. These compounds are all part of the nitrogen cycle and both are interconnected. Number 40. This is the second source of oxygen. A. Nitrogen. B. Photosynthesis. C. Hydrogen. D. All of the above. The answer is letter B. Photosynthesis. Is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy that, through cellular respiration, 
can later be released to fuel the organism's activities. Number 41. This is the second method of fixation. A. Chemical. B. Physical. C. Biological. D. All of the above. The answer is letter C. Biology. Is the scientific study of life. It is a natural science with a broad scope but has several unifying themes that tie it together as a single, coherent field. Number 42. The two basic types of biogeochemical cycle. A. Gaseous and sedimentary cycle. B. Carbon and nitrogen cycle. C. Phosphorus and sulfur cycle. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. Gaseous and sedimentary cycle. This classification is based on the primary source of nutrient to the ecosystem. Both cycles involve biological and non-biological process. Number 43. The presence and the success of organisms depend upon the completeness of complex of conditions. A. First law of thermodynamics. B. Helford's second law of thermodynamics. C. Liebig's law of minimum. D. Shelford's law of tolerance. The answer is letter D. Shelford's law of tolerance. Is a principle developed by American zoologist Victor Ernest Shelford in 1911. It states that an organism's success is based on a complex set of conditions and that each organism has a certain minimum, maximum, and optimum environmental factor or combination of factors that determine success. Number 44. The total rate of the photosynthesis, including organic matter used up in respiration during the measurement period. A. Net primary productivity. B. Net community productivity. C. Gross primary productivity. D. Secondary productivities. The answer is letter C. Gross primary productivity. A certain amount of organic material used to sustain the life of producers, what remains is net productivity. Number 45. Goes from dead organic matter into microorganisms and then to detritus feeding organisms and their predators. A. Food chain. B. Food web. C. Grazing food chain. D. Detritus food chain. The answer is letter D. Detritus food chain. The type of food chain that starts with dead organic materials. The dead organic substances are decomposed by microorganisms. Number 46. Developed to predict the decision rules used by predators to optimize their food intake. A. Optimal foraging theory. B. Ectoparasites. C. Endoparasite. D. Guild. The answer is letter A. Optimal foraging theory is a behavioral ecology model that helps predict how an animal behaves when searching for food. Number 47. Not completely dependent upon a certain single species, but may live in a variety of species. A. Obligatory commensals. B. Character displacement. C. Facultative commensal species. D. None of the above. The answer is letter C. Facultative commensal species refers to the ability to live under more than one specific environmental conditions. The three types of facultative organisms are bacteria, fungi, and endoparasites such as protozoans and nematodes. Number 48. A relatively stable, long-lasting community that is the result of succession. A. Succession. B. Climax. C. Climax community. D. All of the above. The answer is letter C, climax community. Is also called potential vegetation and refers to a community of plants, animals, and other organisms that is stable and sustainable. Number 49. A successional progression that begins with a total lack of organisms and bare mineral surfaces of or water. A. Succession. B. Primary succession. C. Secondary succession. D. All of the above. The answer is letter B. Primary succession. It is the one in which plants and animals first colonize a barren, lifeless habitat, such as the regions devoid of soil or the areas where the soil is unable to sustain life. Number 50. 
He stated that the success of an organism is determined by one crucial ingredient in the environment that is in short supply. A. Victor Shelford. B. Ernst Haeckel. C. Robert Wetzel. D. Justice von Liebig. The answer is letter D. Justice von Liebig. Justice Freiherr von Liebig, May 12, 1803 to April 20, 1873, was a German scientist who made major contributions to agricultural and biological chemistry, and is considered one of the principal founders of organic chemistry. Thank you.